Right, small intestine. Many of our general horror techniques take effect on the small intestine. Well, we've got some techniques that most particularly help it. The wave is always a good small intestine technique. Um, <clears throat> another one, it's known as a roto in Japanese. We call it the inverted rice bowl. You make your hands into a bowl shape, place them over the navel, and the basic technique is to run the pressure gently around the rim of the bowl. You can do this in coordination with the breath, so you only give pressure during the out-breath, or you simply lighten off slightly during the in-breath and sink more deeply through the out-breath. As you go around, feel for the points on the circumference of the circle, which, where you feel the most sense of resistance, and you can just sink a little bit more slowly and deeply into those points. Or you can actually rock the pressure backwards and forwards gently over the tighter points. Very often you'll be rewarded with a gurgle and a sense of release. Okay, variations on this will work very nicely. You can have a fist that goes into the navel and then works round in exactly the same way. It's a, just a slightly smaller tool, slightly more focused tool. And you can go from the, from the fist to the normal rice ball movement, or you can then extend it so you begin to stretch and move the entire organ mass with it. So now the bowl is moving the entire abdominal wall and the underlying organ base. Other things that the small intestine really likes uh, you can use little scooping, rolling movements. Small intestine is quite relatively superficial and it's generally, unless it's very dis diseased, has a very soft kind of feel. And the idea is sort of feeling for its loops and just gently rolling them backwards and forwards between your hands or scooping up a loop. The small intestine also responds very well to vibration. You feel a little like a little bubble or um, hardened area of congestion. It's good just to gently shake it out. You can actually shake get the, the whole mass of it and shake it as well. And another technique that works nicely with the small intestine is the pick up and grasp. So you're actually picking and lifting. So that's small intestine.